Every once in a while, you get hit pretty hard with a comic book that you just remember, that you just can't get out of your mind. And for me recently, that was Wanted, which was written by Mark Millar with artwork by J.G. Jones. And this is the trade paperback that I'm holding in my hand. It consists of six issues, which is the entire series, published by Image Comics. And welcome back, my fellow comic book friends, to Comic Casper. I want to give you guys a spoiler-free review of this comic book series, so let's kick it. From the get-go, our main character, which is Wesley Gibson, is somebody that we can empathize with quite quickly. He's got a job that's pretty mundane and unfulfilling. He works in a cubicle in an office and he gets bullied by his boss on a regular basis. He's eating the same sandwich on a daily basis, but it's a weird type of sandwich. It's got like salmon and mustard and all kinds of different things. And I think he eats that sandwich because it makes him feel unique and it's perhaps one of the only things that he feels he has control over. He has a girlfriend that is not very faithful to him, nor does she respect him. In fact, she sleeps with his best friend on a regular basis, and his best friend lies to his face on a regular basis. So all of a sudden, you can see that our main character, Wesley Gibson, is not having the greatest time in his life. In fact, he even gets bullied when he travels home on a daily basis. He gets off the bus and people give him a hard time. He also gets really upset at a neighbor who's always so cheery and happy all the time and I think that's a reflection of his own insecurities and feelings of unfulfillment in life. So a lot of us can empathize with maybe one or many of these things that are happening to this character and that's why the beginning becomes so compelling and so impactful from the very get-go because we make this bond with the main character all of a sudden because a lot of these things feel so mundane and so real and so relatable. But our character's story takes a turn very quickly whereby as he's picking up his sandwich as he does each day, he bumps into a woman that goes by the name of Fox and she gives him a deal where she says you can have access to millions and millions of dollars which belong to your father who is now deceased on one condition you've got to become a supervillain and he thinks what the hell are you on about that sounds absolutely crazy absolutely insane and all of a sudden she proves to him that villains are a thing and she starts gunning down all of these people inside this restaurant murdering them in cold blood right there and then. He loses his mind, as anyone would. She takes him for a ride and she explains to him what needs to happen. She gives him some more details and she gives him an option. She says, listen, you can be as useless as ever and live a mundane and pathetic life or you can come and become someone and have access to riches that will make all your desires come true. So I think you can guess which decision he makes. So anyway, I'm not going to die further into the story because I think a lot of the magic and the surprise and the discovery is in finding out what happens, the types of people that he bumps into, the world that he's introduced to. There's a lot of great characters in here, some antagonists, some allies, and they really pull out ideas from other comic book series. Like, for instance, there's a character in there that looks like Clayface and has the powers of Clayface. He goes by the name Shithead. And there's another character in there by the name of Fwit, which I believe is supposed to be Solomon Grundy. There's a lady by the name of Deadly Nightshade, which is the equivalent of a Poison Ivy. And there's Dollmaster, which I believe would be the equivalent of like Scarface. So, you know, they kind of steal ideas from other comic books and sort of make like a little mockery of them, and but make them a little bit more realistic as well. And speaking of realistic, the artwork of J.G. Jones really blurs the lines between fiction and fantasy. Fantasy. And this is done to make the story more compelling and impactful because when there is violence, when there are murders, it hits you really hard because it just it happens instantly and it's so visceral and that's part of the shock factor. What I didn't expect from this is how bleak and dark the story can get and the conclusion which is quite memorable and I'm still thinking about it. You know a comic book is good when it transcends outside of the pages and I find that does get a little bit meta but it also makes you think about the bigger picture as well. In terms of society, in terms of governments, in terms of governing, in terms of who is really the bad guy and what should I be doing? 
about my own personality to improve my life as a whole. As with all great stories, you can expect some intense action slash violence, romance, betrayal, character building, internal conflict, and the list goes on and on. And it's jam packed within the six issues, which is the entire story. And I highly recommend reading this if you want something completely different when it comes to superheroes. If you want to break outside of that, then check this out. It's published by Image Comics. But please know this is not for the faint of heart. It is pretty dark. It gets pretty nasty. It is, after all, about villains. And uh, the main character essentially is taking a journey on becoming a super villain. So keep that in mind. Everything that goes with becoming a villain is pretty much outlined in here. I understand that this may not be a story for everyone. And in fact, myself, after I finished reading it, all I wanted to do was watch something like SpongeBob to cheer me up a little bit. Like I said, it gets bleak, it gets dark, and it hits hard. But those are my thoughts on Wanted by Mark Millar. All in all, I very much enjoyed it. It took me by surprise, and I'm looking forward to reading more Mark Millar stories. Hopefully they can get a little bit brighter than this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, hit it with a like. If you hated it, hit it with a dislike, and I will hit you up with some more comic book content soon. So take care of yourselves. Until next time.